How far is too far? It's up to you to set the standards. Hello, hello, and happy Sunday. You are listening to the Manifesto on Purpose show. I am your host, Kimberly. I help you transform your mind so that you can become a better person. Welcome to Self-Care Sunday. Welcome to conversation number 13. Thank you for sharing your time and energy with me today. Thank you so much for inviting your friends, and thank you for subscribing here and on the website at manifestonpurpose.net. The God in me loves the God in you. If you don't stand for something, you will fall for anything. This was one of those messages that was drilled in me by one of my high school teachers, and it proved to be true in my life. Bumblebee was the nickname that my grandmother affectionately gave me. From time to time, she would call me that name. And in her own words, when asked, she called me that name because Kim is one of the sweetest children that you would ever want to meet until you cross that line. Once you cross that line, she'll sting. Hmm, I guess that's true. This is still very much a part of my personality today. That imaginary line she was talking about represents my boundaries. Boundaries. Everybody should have them. A boundary is an imaginary line. How comfortable are you willing to allow others to get with you before you draw that imaginary line? Simply put, what are your boundaries. Everyone should have boundaries. Most governments have no-fly zones. Have you ever heard of those before? Meaning unauthorized aircrafts cannot fly within that zone. It's a boundary that is set by the government and it's for safety and protection. Once that boundary is crossed, there are consequences. The important takeaway for you today is is self-care includes setting boundaries. Some people may think of you as being mean or difficult when you decide to set your boundaries, but here's a side note on that. The ones that feel this way are the ones that you really need to set boundaries on. They're possibly a little bit afraid of you cutting them off or you limiting what they can do in your life. Here's how that goes. They often make you feel like you're the mean one and the difficult one because you won't let them wreak havoc in your life. This is what happens. When you set boundaries in your life, you teach people how to treat you in an indirect way. And it's needless for you to complain when you feel that you're being mistreated because you set the standards for how others treat you. What I've learned over the years is people can do no more to you than you allow them to. Don't expect others to give you your peace or respect you even. Those are things that you have to command and you command that through your boundaries. The question I will answer now is how do you set healthy boundaries? It's as simple as this. You and only you know what makes you feel good and what makes you feel not so good. You know what you like and you know what you dislike. You also know what's assisting in your growth and what doesn't. I like to remind myself if something or someone is not conducive to my growth, it's hurting. It's just like that saying people use, what's not helping you may be hurting you. 
Also, consider your triggers. How far can a person go with you before you reach the stage of unhappiness, pain, anger, dissatisfaction, disappointment? Your boundary line should be established before it gets to that point, way before it gets to that point. Once you establish where you want to draw that imaginary boundary line, you have to think about how you will respond once that boundary is crossed. In other words, what consequences will one face when they fly into your no-fly zone? Having this already established within yourself helps you become consistent and accountable. If you keep telling someone not to do something, but allow them to continue to cross that line, they won't take you seriously anymore. It reminds me of the story about the boy who cried wolf. Once you set boundaries and consequences, you respond when that line is crossed immediately. You enforce your rules. In a nutshell, your boundaries are rules for what you are willing to accept in your life and in your personal space. Not only do you get to set your boundaries, you get to choose how to respond. I love to nurture plants. Nature always has this way of showing us how to live. In raising plants, I learned a few lessons. And one of those lessons is if there are any dead leaves on that plant, they should be immediately removed. Because if you don't remove them, they destroy all the other plants that are full of life. And those dead plants do that by draining unnecessary nutrients from live plants. Have you ever noticed that? Someone that has low energy being around you in your life, the more you spend time with them, you notice your energy being drained. This is only one reason why it is important for you to set boundaries in your life. Energy cannot be destroyed. It is either transferred or is transformed. So if someone is not in your life helping you make a positive transformation, that means you're taking on their energies. This happens when you allow them to cross your boundaries. Detach or destroy that that is treading close to your boundary line. And the solution that you use to do this can be something as simple as walking away. Always remember when it comes to your boundaries and your solutions, be non-confrontational. You don't have to be confrontational when you are setting boundaries in your life. For example, I avoid phone calls after a certain time at night to make sure that I can wind down for the evening. There's nothing confrontational about that. In fact, it's just the opposite. Boundaries strengthen you, help you grow, make you healthier, and improve your happiness. And now that I think about it, setting boundaries is also another good way to raise your level of consciousness. Boundaries can be seen everywhere in nature and in our world. There's a boundary line between the water and the land, just as every country has a border. Boundaries are not good nor bad, despite what people say. A boundary is a boundary. It's bumblebee, necessary but unbothered until someone crosses that boundary line. It's like the no-fly zone, necessary and unbothered unless something attempts to cross that boundary. What it boils down to is when you set boundaries in your life, you are creating a set of rules that is conducive to your growth. It's very necessary. Nothing wrong with that. Create healthy boundaries in your life. Do you have someone that is a habitual boundary crosser in your life? Is there that person there that is just sticking around that you know is no good for you? How far is too far? Well, that's only up to you. Only you can set 
the boundaries in your life. I love you to life. This is how you manifest on purpose. Today, I want you to reflect over your life and think about the places in your life that you may need to set boundaries. First, recognize the patterns in your life that are not going as well as you want them to. When you see those patterns, ask yourself, what are the boundaries that you can put in place to help you grow in that area? Set those boundaries, put some rules in place and stick to them. During this meditation period, I want you to reflect on those things. Let's prepare for meditation. If you are driving, this is not the time to do so. Please download this and save it for later. If you are not driving, this is your time to meditate. Please find your sacred space, the space in which you can relax, the one that's comfortable for you, distraction-free and safe. Focus on your breathing. Enjoy the meditation.